All right, boys, here it is. The biggest game of my entire life. We've already made a guaranteed $15,000. We've had one of the most insane runs, if not the most insane run in MCS history. But honestly, we want more, right? We want to win the belt. If we win this game, we move on to next week to take on Wes, who's actually a member of Team Get Lucky as well. So it'd be like a an inner crew rivalry right there. That would be a semifinal game. This is the quarterfinals right here. And like I said, it's been an unbelievable run so far. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. It's really been the best series I've ever uploaded to YouTube in my entire life. But I want more, man. The job is not done. The problem is it's only going to get more difficult from this point forward. We're taking on Dez, the number one overall seed in the so tournament. The bracket was insane. I played so many of the best players in the world. And honestly, it was the most fun I've probably had in my entire life. Like it, it was a blast streaming it as well with having, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of people in the chat, um, just kind of supporting me, which kind of gave me the motivation to do it. I didn't think it was possible. I mean, I had to win like nine, nine straight games in a row against the best players in the world. Now we are running this Detroit Lions playbook. We're running a few different formations. I'm the only person in the entire tournament that isn't running cover zero and gun bunch. All right, I'm using trip set end. I'm running five wide. Um, I didn't really run any trips, trip set end in this game right here. I didn't really feel like there was a reason to do it, but I'm running some pistol here as well with some different runs. We run some gun tight in there. So we like to mix it up, run a lot of different formations, audible around. Right there, we get right in front of his user pretty scary i'm not gonna lie he was right behind us but on third down i felt like the risk was worth it the problem was he was playing really good red zone defense this game he was basically just sending three running shaded down man and then putting two flats on each side i definitely feel like i could have drawn up a better route combo on first and second down i like the route combo there but he actually goes to zone so he does a really nice mix up he plays some outstanding red zone defense he holds us a three which I feel like is a victory for us. You know, we always love to throw interceptions on our first drive. Fortunately though, we don't do that and we we get three. There, but when you get to these bright lights in your first ever game, it seems like he's going a little bit too fast here. Oh, as he gets a That's nice a aggressive read, catch. Oh, yeah. Come on, man, what mm -mm -mm. is he going? Yeah, you guys can see right there, third and long, just chucks it up, man. It definitely wasn't a good read, but that's Harold Carmichael, he's six foot eight. He's gonna come down with that at at a really high rate it's disappointing to say that but it is true he's killing me with the run right now as well obviously i'm running dollar that's the downside of it not the best run defense move barry sanders over to the left hip as elway drops back to pass look at the left side that threat detector right now for uh dez he's letting him know he's in that dollar it's, it looks like it's db fire slot corners are coming quick throw and it's picked off it's cromwell the other way it's a stop for k mac but can he turn it into six he's past midfield like NASA with all the space out there. Cromwell to the end zone. Go, baby. The cage, man. Momentum shifting play. What? Throws it oh, up high on, ball. Man. Caught by Carmichael. What is this rolling, dog? And you guys can see right there, a huge user play from us. We come up with the interception with Cromwell. We take it to the crib, and then he throws a pick on the very next play again, right into traffic at Harold Carmichael. He does it again here. This was his offense. It was literally just chucking ags to Harold Carmichael. You know, he had some decent run plays as well right there. Derrick Henry into the end zone. Six, six, but then bounces right back, moves down the field easily, and punches it in. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! He's breaking oh, tackles! He's breaking hearts! Devin Hester to the 45! I just can't believe he makes that shoelace tackle right there. Thought we were off to the races. That Devin Hester is so nasty on special teams. That would have been huge for us because obviously we're not the best offensive player by any stretch of the imagination. I am a defensive player. I think I'm the best defensive player in this tournament. Offensive wise, though, yeah, not the best. I like the scheme, just the reads aren't always there for me. Yard lines, we near the two minute warning. Lots of hot routes right now. He's gonna throw hey, the out you, route and it stopped. You, that was perfectly perfect perfect played by Dez. Perfect you saw the slot route out there ready for the out route. Mm, that's a tough break right there, man. You guys can see he actually makes a nice defensive adjustment, putting a flat on that side. However, it didn't play it and our guy basically just drops it uncontested. So I can't be that mad at it. Do I feel like we got cheated right there? Absolutely. I mean, we got to catch the wide open passes, but at the same time, he did make the right defensive adjustment. It's just the route combo I put out there with the streaks made that flat. I kind of manipulated it to not play it as it should. So, you know, I like the defensive adjustments from him. We just have to catch that. That is a huge, 
That's a huge break for him. I really didn't want to get held at three again. Obviously, he's going to score points. I mean, I can play the best defense in the world, and you guys can see it doesn't matter sometimes because he can just chuck it up to Harold Carmichael, and he's going to catch it in traffic. You know, again, at a pretty high rate right there. That's the first mistake I feel like I've made really bad in this game so far. I got to recognize that that wheel is coming, and then right here before half, I don't know what I'm doing. Basically, just throw it right to him, and then... Yeah, I mean, it, w it really wasn't that close. Like, it definitely got a little bit scary in the moment. I just felt like we were going to make the tackle the whole time. But yeah, really not a huge point in throwing a highball streak in that situation. And here we go again. Harold Carmichael. I don't know what this guy would do without him, but fortunately for him, he's in the game and he's incredibly tough to stop. As is this Cooper Cup, who gets short and elite for zero AP, which helps his route running a ton. Right there, he's actually throwing a user pick and the ball gets batted. Mm. Second down and 10. Oh, Michael short motion stays in to block. Only three routes out there. What? Throws it up. No, he doesn't pick it off. It I pops mean, dude, up and he couldn't oh get it. Oh my god, that is pick order too. No way he just threw that with a oh straight Oh my he, he shorted it. Like he jumped like a foot away from the ball. So many things happened right there. He had the running back wide open. Then he could have ran for like 12 yards with the quarterback. Then he threw a horrible read. And for K-Mac, how do you not pick that off? Oh, that hurts. Right side, and guess what? When when a cheat goes one way, you know what happens right after it. Kyle Pitts to the two. Yeah, I mean, that was a tough sequence. I mean, he throws a terrible, terrible read that was right into coverage. Not only did he throw into coverage, but it bounces right to my guy for just the easiest little little pop pass catch I've ever seen in my life. And he just gets like a little T-Rex T Rex arm animation. Uh, I mean, that would have turned the tides a ton, man. We would have been down, what, down four with ball. I feel like we were moving the ball pretty well. We just had trouble scoring so far in the red zone. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a tough break, man. We just got to catch those. And now we're down 11, down two possessions in a game where I feel like we've played pretty well so far. Like, have I played perfectly? Absolutely not. But I feel like I've low-key played better than this guy. Doesn't mean a lot, Madden. You're going to get cheated sometimes. Sometimes things are not going to go your way. You have to battle through the adversity. That's what I'm doing right here. A big time response drive. We find Cooper Cup in the corner of the end zone. Now it's time to go for the two point conversion. Big two point conversion. He's going to go empty on the two yard line. Try to cut this to a field goal game. Elway trying to scramble. Got caught up in his own line. Nowhere to go. Right, what's up? defense from Dez. Right, keeping it a five point ball, game. That's a big stop. You see, you heard K-Max say he didn't mean to snap the ball. I think he rushed it, or he, he snapped the ball too early while he was still setting stop, up hot roads, and the man. play He's was pretty much dead, so drive. that's a big stop for Dez. To the end zone, great play call. I mean, the ultimate cover to destroy on those double wheel roads. Elway throws it over the oh, middle, oh. almost picked off! Oh my god, this is some of the worst shit I've ever seen in my life, man. How has he gotten away with this? It this gets worse. Insane. It gets worse. Maybe Watch. Find a four-leaf clover, because the, the, the get lucky is not getting lucky enough. I try to tell you. I try oh, to tell that you. Was close too. Third and six. K Mac looking for anything, anyone on the defense to come down with a turnover. Scream off the edge into coverage again. It's caught this time. First down for Dez. I mean, that's just so disappointing. Three straight plays, all in traffic. What can you do about it, man? What can you do about it? Second and three. Throws it left side. Picked up. It's finally caught. Is it's picked up by K Mac, and he gets the stop he's I've looking never seen for. Him play this bad in my entire life, ever. That's a tough break right there, man. Got to keep our feet in bounds. I don't know how we don't do it. Right here, I think had a touchdown left side, but because of the pressure coming from the outside, I had to step up. I just tucked the one-on-one -on -one ag. We didn't catch it right there. It happens. Right here, I try to scramble. The pressure comes again. Right just to the inside of that outside wide receiver, Todd. He Elway back to pass. Three-man rush. He's got time. Uh, He's mm, looking. Mm, mm. It's Rice. It's a first down. That is such a dot right there, baby. Keeping the drive alive. And now, I don't like to do this, but I think it makes 100% sense right here to make this the last drive of the game. Chew it out. Score. No time left. Win the game. It's a tight throw right there, man. I'm not going to lie. Fourth down situation. K-Mac in that empty stack. 225 left. Two wide to the left side, three over to the right side. Rice and Cup in the stack on the left side of the formation. Three man front, and it's a three man rush. And he's gonna take off with all white The ball closes, oh, and Dez gets I a stop. I thought I had to scramble easy. 
That's a tough one, man. I feel like we had the scramble. I feel like we had the scramble lane. I really do. I know, I know. obviously, it didn't end up being there, but he only rushed three people. His user was moving down to the left to guard the drag. We definitely had that lane to the right. Unfortunately, Elway, he is like 81, 82 speed. We have scrambled with him so far this game for a few big games, and... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much going to do it right there. We go with the run commit, wanted to play super aggressive and, and basically hold him to, to less than three. Big hit right there as well. It's a run commit again, and he's open, and Cooper Cup can just sit there, and that's going to wrap this one up. k Max sold out for the run. Let's go, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Why, um, why did he run commit again though you saw Dez was making so many adjustments it was taking a lot of time I don't know like on first second down maybe but on third down I don't think you could run commit there yeah I mean that's a tough one I know the announcer asked why did I run commit I don't know why he would pass in the situation I I mean he only had two routes on the field I ran commit I used one of them hopefully he just made a mistake and panicked and threw it to me I mean, it was kind of stupid for him to pass there. I don't think his plan was to pass at all until he saw that I ran commit. But the announcer, the announcer saying, oh, why did he run commit? That's just a stupid comment. That guy has no idea what he's talking about. It was the right decision. Um, you know, I don't necessarily hate any decision I made in this game. I just have to execute better, you know, specifically there at the end, making that the last drive. We know from last year, so many times in CFM, I just wasn't that good at making things the last drive. I feel like it changed the rhythm of my offense. But because if we scored and didn't get the two point conversion, which we've already failed one earlier in this game, you know, he all he would have had to do is get three and it would have been so easy for him because he can just chuck an Agda Harrow Carmichael. You can kick from the 46 yard line in Madden Ultimate Team, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, fortunately for us, though, we are in 10th place. We're in 10th place both on the leaderboards for like just overall rankings and as well as MCS points. The top 12 make the Madden Bowl, which is by far and away the biggest tournament of the year. So as long as we have a decent performance in the third and final tournament of the year before the Madden Bowl, we should make the tournament. It's going to be a live event in person at the EA Studios in Burbank, California. That's our goal to make that tournament. So obviously this sucks losing this game. Um... You know, I wanted to win the belt. Those were my expectations. Obviously, we made an insane run. I, I have to be proud of it. I can't be I can't be disappointed in myself, man. I know there are things I can improve on, uh, specifically mentally going forward to perform in these big games and close out these insane runs. But we made a ton of money, man. Uh, we, we had an awesome series. You guys supported me the entire way. I'm sorry that I, you know, I let you guys down. I couldn't get it done. Trust me, I'm super disappointed in myself. But at the same time, like I said, we have to cherish the run that, that we did make. It, it was special. And we're going to do it again. I promise you guys. This is only the beginning. It's really opened my eyes as what I can do as both a competitor and as a content creator. I'm so excited to take that next step. And, and like I said, ultimately make you guys proud. Achieve a lifelong goal of mine, which is to win a belt. We were so, so close this time. We were only two games away if we were able to win that, which is, I mean... Look at where we started. Look at where we started. Look where we are now. I promise you guys, it's coming. I'm going to do it for you guys. We're going to do it together. Appreciate you guys as always, man. And with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video, man. Peace.